This is tough. This is a very, very difficult question to answer. And I thought, let me just make the video anyways and do the best I can. More importantly, if you have any opinions or any advice, leave a comment because I have some suggestions for this person, but I'm sure I'm missing things. So any comments you can put in, in the comment section that helps this person will help other people as well. So yeah, this is also something that if you search on the internet, you're not going to get a lot of good answers. It's something that I really haven't made a lot of videos about. So when I got this message, I thought, let me just really, really quickly make this video because I do have an answer. So hopefully you can help someone out there. So the person's name is Nick Hill, N-I-K-H-I-L. And the subject is job ideas for young math enjoyer. And this is a fairly recent email, so I'll do my best to post this ASAP. Hi, math sorcerer. I am a high school senior from Boston who is about to graduate. In my last semester of high school, I'm taking both Calculus II and Linear Algebra. In the fall, I'm going to college in New York City, so I'm going to need to save up as much money as I can. My mom and I have been talking about what summer jobs I can get. We're considering the usual suspects, barista, cashier, etc. I was wondering if at this point there is anything I could do with my current math background for employment because it would be more fun for me and might be a good experience for the future. Would any tutoring company hire me at this age? Are there any low level math jobs that I would be cut out for now? Or should I wait until I'm more experienced to enter the mathematical workforce? I'd appreciate any guidance you could provide, Nick Hill. So actually I have a few answers, but they're all related to something you mentioned. So first let me just say, thank you so much for your email. This is a really tough question. It's a tough one, right? It's one that is hard to answer because with a math degree, even with a math degree, you know, finding specific math jobs with just a bachelor's. Um, I mean, you can get tons of jobs, but jobs where you actually use the math uh, takes a little bit of extra effort. So I don't know how old you are. You said you're a high school senior, so I'm going to assume that you're under 18 or maybe 18. It, it's hard to say. First, let me say that tutoring, I think, is the way to go. Because when you tutor someone, you are practicing your math, and that's going to stay with you for a long time. Like you, you will remember those experiences that you create tutoring. Tutoring is, is wonderful. I tutored for about six weeks when I was a student. And then as a teacher, sometimes I would volunteer and go to the tutoring center uh, and, and help students. And obviously, you know, I have office hours and people come to my office and you know, I help them with math. So I guess that's tutoring. But uh, formerly as a tutor, I worked as a tutor for about six weeks. And so I thought it was pretty good. Some people love tutoring. I like tutoring. I, I prefer teaching to tutoring. Many people prefer tutoring to teaching. I know several people who love tutoring and, and don't like teaching as much. I personally just think teaching is the best thing in the world, right? So much better than tutoring. Anyways, enough about me. Let's talk about you and how you can find a tutoring job. So the first thing you want to do is, this is the best way, is check your local colleges, like your local community colleges, and go there in person, okay? Actually, physically go, don't, don't call, just go and show up at those tutoring centers and ask to talk to you know, the supervisor, whoever's in charge of the tutoring center. Introduce yourself and ask them if they have any opportunities for tutors. Chances are they're gonna say no. I mean, the chances are they're gonna say no. They might have something, but chances are they will say no. So if they say no, you have two other options. Let's start with your best option. You could do tutoring for yourself. So I've seen this uh, before. You know, I've seen signs and stuff where people put signs up and they'll say something like, you know, they'll have their name and they'll say tutoring services and they'll have the subjects. So you can do private tutoring and you can advertise locally, right? You can advertise locally, you know, with flyers or you can, you can go to different places and put things on bulletin boards. It helps. You can also advertise at your local colleges. If your local college has a place where you're allowed to put advertisements, you know, for private tutoring, you could do that. You could visit the math department at the local college and introduce yourself and tell them, you know, is there a place I can advertise my services, you know, my tutoring services. So, so show up to the college and make an effort to either try to get a job there. And if that fails, 
then try to promote your own tutoring gig, okay? So I think that's the way to go. That's probably gonna be, or it is gonna be, uh, a much more beneficial experience than, you know, working as a cashier or a barista. Now, I've never been a barista. Uh, I have worked as a cashier and I actually love the job. I worked at a couple of gas stations and I thought it was great because um, I like working with people, so yeah. In any case, that's option number two. Option number three is to tutor online. There are uh, some companies that have online tutoring. I I've seen one, um, it starts with a W, I believe. I, I think it's like Wyzant or something. I I've never used it. Uh, I'll do some research and I'll, I'll try to find some information and leave a link in the description. Or you can just Google tutoring companies and you can, you can work for an online tutoring company. The issue there might be age, right? Again, you might have to be 18 to work at these tutoring companies, whether it be in college or online. So that leads you to the second option, which is tutor for yourself. So I think tutoring is probably the best thing that you can do uh, before going to, to college. Once you get to college, by the way, uh, a lot of times it's easier to get a job because you can tutor and you can do what's called work study, which basically it's like a way for students to work. And oftentimes it's restricted. They'll only give you like 20 hours a week or something, which is fine. You don't want to work too much, right? You want to be able to focus on your studies. So if you do tutor while you go to college, my advice would be to keep it at a minimum, just one or two days. Uh, don't overdo it. It's really easy to, you know, give all your time to something else when you really, really need to be focusing on your studies. Tutoring will help you. Uh, it will help increase your social skills. Uh, it will help increase your mathematical skills. It's a win-win. It's a great idea. So yeah, hopefully uh, kind of a long-winded answer, but tutoring is the way to go. Visit your local college and check for online tutoring services and try to get a job there. If that doesn't work, start your own tutoring gig. And I've known people who've done private tutoring. I personally have never done private tutoring, um, but I have friends who've done it and they have little business cards and they pass them out at local places. And yeah, they, they get, they get jobs and you can charge, you know, a variety of fees. There's, you know, 20 bucks an hour, $30 an hour, 50, you know, whatever you think is appropriate, whatever you think is a, a reasonable rate for, for what you're tutoring. So yeah. Yeah. I think, uh, that's, it's a really good way to to get involved. And uh, you're going to college in New York City, so there's a lot of people there, right? So you should be able to get a, a lot of two Ts, a lot of people to help. Because you live in such a populated area, um, it should be pretty easy. Also, there's probably a lot of colleges you can visit, but again, age might be a deciding factor uh, when it comes to uh, securing one of these jobs. So that's what I think. I'm thinking maybe some other people watching this video have some great advice. So please, I am actually interested too. I want to know, like, what do you think um, this person can do? Again, their game their name is Nick Hill, N-I-K-H-I-L. They have their last name too, but I'll leave, uh, I'll leave it out. And they are a senior in high school from Boston. So Boston's a big city. I've been there. Um, so yeah, hopefully uh, it's been helpful. If you found any value in this content, feel free to hit that subscribe button below. If not, that's okay too. You don't have to subscribe if you don't want to, no big deal. If you want to learn math, I do have courses. They're on the Udemy platform, but if you get them, please use the links from my website, mathsorcerer.com. That's because I've lowered the prices. So when you use my links, you'll get a low price. Plus, if you use my links, it helps me greatly. Otherwise, um, Udemy takes like a huge cut. Anyways, learn math, Nick Hill. Hopefully this has helped you. Getting a job before going to college and studying, I, I think is great. And tutoring, um, it's, it's one of those jobs that, I don't know, it's, it's, it's really nice. You get to help people and you get to learn at the same time. So it's a win-win. Anyways, keep doing mathematics.